Do you want to know how to teach life skills to young adults? Well, I actually have a lot of young adults in my family and I've raised a lot of teens to adulthood as a therapeutic treatment care foster parent for troubled teens as well as raising up my four children. In this video, we are talking about adult skills. <laughs> I'm Nicolene Peck. I teach parenting all over the world and all of the parenting skills that I teach, whether it's for the tiniest child, actually apply to adults too. So when I talk about any skill, I am just talking about a basic adult skill. In this video, we're going to be talking about super important adult skills that people need for happiness in life and what you can do to help your young adult use these skills. Many people come to me at conferences and different events when I'm speaking or they ask questions here on YouTube about their young adult children and they'll say, is it too late, Nicolene? I wish I would have learned these things a long time ago, but now I have young adults. What do I do? And I say, well, is it too late for you to learn how to disagree appropriately? Is it too late for you to learn how to accept a disappointment or a no answer in life? The answer is no. The skills that I teach in my teaching self-government parenting system, which this book, Parenting a House United, is a big part of, those are adult skills for life. Doesn't matter the age. The cool thing is even little babies can learn them. My granddaughter, Clara, who is 20 months old, she actually can do all of the four basic skills, some of which we're going to be talking about here in this video. So what should we be focusing on when we're talking about adult skills? So some adult skills we think of are very practical things that help us with household management. Things like laundry, basic cleaning, and yard maintenance, basic mechanics, like how to fix something, how to change a light bulb, how to make dinner, how to wash the car, how to vacuum the car, how to organize things, clean things out, how to talk to somebody on the phone and get a problem resolved. Those types of things would all be considered adult skills. Also, of course, putting in there, getting a job, that type of stuff. Those are all adult skills. But the foundation for all of those adult practices are actually rooted in four basic skills. So in this book, there are four basic skills that everybody learns. They are following instructions, accepting no answers and criticism, accepting consequences, and disagreeing appropriately. If a person learns those four basic skills, not only as a young person does that take care of 99% of their behaviors, wait a second, just a young person? No way. Old people too. All of us. We all need those four basic skills. Those help us be able to interact more effectively with other people and solve our problems. We also end up having a lot more peace inside because all of those four basic skills include an understanding on calmness. So learning the four basic skills is definitely number one. All right, we're going to talk about other things that you can do for your young adults to get them ready to learn adult skills. But first, do you see that subscribe button? Click it now and don't forget the notification bell. Then you'll be notified when new videos come out. Another adult thing that we absolutely must understand is who we are and who other people are. That seems like a given, right? It seems like we should just automatically know that, but we don't. There are people who forget to acknowledge and value others around them. It happens all the time. Adults do it, children do it. So one thing that we can absolutely teach our young adult children is their role in our family and our role in their lives. If they're launching off into adulthood, we're still their parent. What does that mean? Our role has changed slightly, but what is our role now? Now this book here, Roles, The Secret to Family, Business, and Social Success, is all about family roles and the family in this story, because it's a learning story, you learn as you read it, they have an 18 year old down to an eight year old. So they have a lot of adolescents and young adults in their family and they have to discuss who they are going to be as a group. Now your role in the family is going to be different depending on if your young adult child lives with you or not. 
So if your young adult child lives somewhere else and they are governing their entire life, meaning they're paying for the apartment, they're paying for their school, they're going to, to work, they're doing all the things, covering their car, covering everything, then at that point they are living an adult life. And then you are just there as someone to ask questions to, you're supportive and loving, you stay in contact and you, you cheer with them when you can, you know? I mean, that's kind of what you do when they're off on their own. But when they still live with you, they are part of this group dynamic and they have to acknowledge that. They don't get to just do whatever they want to do when they're part of a group. So if they were to live with roommates, then they have to be part of that group. Well, when they're living in your home, they have to be part of your group and they have to acknowledge that you own the home, which means there are going to be instructions, no answers, things like that that will happen even though they are adult age. In the Teaching Self-Government Parenting Program, we really focus on problem solving, teaching a person how to solve problems. Now that is a vital adult skill. And I know we hope that math class is going to really do that for our children, uh, but it doesn't necessarily always apply to something in the real world, or maybe they don't know how to apply that mathematical thinking to a problem in the real world, a problem like a relationship or something like that. But there is a skill training exercise called sodas that I do teach. In fact, all of the youth that came to my home, no matter their, their age, they got to learn this skill. It's an acronym that stands for situation options, disadvantages, advantages, solution. So that's so does. Okay. And what you do is you give the child or the, the young adult a situation, or maybe they could give one to themselves if they're old enough. And then they come up with options for that situation. Then they come up with disadvantages and advantages and their solution. Then you debrief it with them so that they can learn why they keep making certain decisions that they're making and if there couldn't be a better way. When a person develops a soda's mindset, they see the world differently. They're more proactive, they're more empowered. They know they can handle things. And I would say that's probably one of the biggest things that the young adults are really needing is how do I solve my problems? problems? Or do I always have to have somebody else solve my problems? It's a very communistic mindset, a Marxist mindset that I don't know how to solve my own problems, that I have to give my problems to somebody else. But if I truly am independent in my thinking, then I should be able to solve my problems if I have that full autonomy that comes with being a young adult. So another thing that we did in our family, no matter the age, if they were living at home, they were part of family meetings and we would have individual mentor meetings with them. Because what is my job as a parent? Well, I'm supposed to be helping them launch off into adulthood, right? So that means we've got a plan for that. That's where this mentor meeting comes in. We are going to be talking about what their goals and plans are, what commitments they're making and making sure that they follow through. Making and keeping commitments is an adult skill. If a person cannot do it, they are not an adult. That's just how it is. Now with family meetings, we meet together as a whole family group and we discuss the family dynamic, our relationships as a family, activities we want to have as a family, projects we're working on, chores and things that we need to address or issues that we need to solve. We do those things as a group. And then the person is able to bond in with the group while taking responsibility for their connections and relationships with the group too. That is an adult skill, taking responsibility responsibility for your relationship with other people. When you're teaching your child adult skills, start with the basics, the four basic skills, have meetings, teach problem solvings, then work your way into learning these other things like how to do all the major maintenances around a property or how to do all the technical things related to adulthood, like getting insurance and stuff like that. Teach them all of those things bit by bit. If you're smart, you start earlier rather than later. But if you're already to the place where they don't 
don't know a lot of those things and you're getting a little bit of a late start, no worries, they may be a teeny bit behind, but they'll catch up in no time. Just give them instructions, make plans and have them follow through with those plans. If they don't, you might have to start coming up with an alternative plan for their launching from your home. Now, if you have enjoyed this, I know that you are gonna love my Calm Parenting Toolkit, which I'm going to give you for free. Because calmness and self-regulation is probably one of the biggest skills that you could teach your young adult. Can they be calm and communicate effectively? Those four basic skills will really help with that. But can they truly understand calmness and get themselves calm when they're going out of control? I hope the answer is yes. If not, this toolkit will really help you and them. It's 10 tools, 10 lessons that you can use for calmness. It's the beginning to the self-government training. It's definitely not the whole course, but it will start you in the right direction. In the description below this video, there is a link to the Calm Parenting Toolkit. It says teachselfgov.com toolkit. Click on that link and you'll find the Calm Parenting Toolkit for free.